In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing exactly how I became a realtor in under a year during a pandemic in Florida. The first step might seem a little bit obvious, but that's to sign up to real estate school. I use Real Estate Express because I didn't want to risk going to the school, physical school, during a global panorama, but they were really well they worked really well for me um, and there's a ton of other programs like that so definitely do your research and see which one works out best for you number two i submitted my application to the state now you can start submitting your application in florida while you're in school and it's actually recommended that you do because it is going to take some time for them to review um, your application to become a realtor, you can't really have any type of like criminal past. At least in Florida, they really look into that. You're gonna need to get a background check and digital fingerprints done to submit along with your application. In the meantime, while your application is processing, definitely study because there is an end of course exam. And if you don't get at least a 70 or higher, I believe it was 70, 70 or 75. If you don't get it 70 or higher, you're gonna have to wait 30 days to retake that test. Once you get your application accepted, you will be allowed to take the state exam. So I actually failed my state exam twice, which is quite embarrassing, but I will say, take the state exam seriously and study. I had friends that were already in the industry and they were like, like yeah, it was so easy, it was such a breeze, I passed it my first time. That's not normal. Most people will have to take the test a few times, so don't get discouraged if you don't pass it the first time around. Something that really helped me out when I was studying is this program called Anki. It's basically like digital index cards. I used real index cards when I wasn't trying to look at a screen for hours, but Anki was super helpful in helping me study that second time around. Once you take the exam, you will basically know right away if you passed or not because it is electronic. So. If you passed, congratulations, now you can go find a broker. If you're not already assigned to a broker, this step is really important because if you don't hang your license with a broker, it will not activate and you will not be able to practice. I hope that this video helped you out wherever you are in your journey and stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I will be talking about how you can get into real estate whether you have a license or not. I used real estate, 